Namaste. Welcome to the Shakti Yoga Shala. So today, in our first webcast, we're going to focus on your feet. So your feet are your primary mode of transportation that takes you through life. Your feet are the way that you hold on to the earth. In yoga, we believe that each piece, each one of us, is a piece in the entire web of life, the entire connection. This connection starts with the way that you walk through the world. So I want you to be able to walk through the world with steadiness and ease. So in these exercises, you can use them whether you have a very advanced yoga practice or you've never practiced yoga at all. Either way, these feet will help you to feel more empowered and free. So in yoga, we speak of having four corners in the feet. Each corner is created equal. So there's the mound underneath your large toe, the inside of your heel, the mound underneath your small toe, and the outside of your heel. So I want you to bring awareness to those four corners. Placing your feet down to the ground, we'll begin with the foundation of your breath. So folding your hands to the seal of gratitude. Turn inward with your breath. Bring your awareness down into your feet, into those four corners that I just mentioned. Press your feet down as if you're extending down into the earth. And from that connection, rise up through your spine so you get more space to receive your breath. So you soften to open up from the back, the sides, the front of your body. And you breathe in and out through your nose to the best of your ability. Keep your breath steady and even. You can even count your breath in order to bring your mind fully present into this time and space, into the miracle of your body, mind, and heart. Opening your eyes. Now again, lift your foot up and reconnect with those four corners. So you'll do this exercise with both of your feet. Mound of the large toe in your heel, mound of the small toe in the outside of your heel. See how much space you can make between your toes. Move from a flex, from the very center of your foot all the way through to your second toe into a point. Flex and move through to a point. Inhale, flex, and exhale, roll through to a point. Good. So do that three times on each foot. So try your other foot now. Toe spread, Get as much space as you can between your small toe and your large toe. Flexing with your inhale, and with your exhale, roll through to a point. So you can have hours of fun on the couch with this one. Just sprinkle these little things throughout your daily life. A little amounts of time more often will pay off more in the long run, even more than doing a couple hours of a yoga practice once a week. Just think you're making spaciousness for your feet to be able to fully connect as your foundation, the foundation for your ankles, knees, hips, and even lower back. Now from here, you might notice that it's difficult for you to make space between your toes. So you've tried this flex point mixture three times on each side for right now. Now from here, you can use your fingers to make space between your toes. So in this way, you get space for the nerves to be clear in your feet. So you make space between your large toe, second toe, third and fourth. So I've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> so if you're like me and this is pretty easy, you can go to the next exercise. Otherwise, stay here and continue to make space with your fingers. So if your feet are ready for more, so you can go to a chair, take your heel down, toes up, and make space between your toes with the chair. So only go as far as you can while still being able to breathe and be able to keep your face calm. If your face is contorted, you've gone way too far. So you can start here, making space. Little by little, you can press more into the ball of your foot. You can keep the chair steady with your hands. And try that through each toe, going through one time on each side. So your breath is steady, and you're continually using your breath to bring your mind 
into the rhythm of your practice. So it's a continual moving meditation. Now, depending on the state of your feet, that might be plenty for today. So you can leave it like that. And you can take those exercises and do them many times throughout the day. I promise you'll feel better.